Hey everybody, just want to make a quick video about uh, about time management. Um, for me, I'm a mechanic. I, I run a, a mobile mechanic service. My helper right now is doing a brake job, and uh, and so I'm making this video to talk about people that waste your time. I've been talking about this uh, in a couple other videos. It's it's kind of the topic of the hour because it's really important. And I think about it a lot because I talk to hundreds of people every week. I literally get hundreds of phone calls and I, most of them aren't going to be a customer. Most of the people just statistically when somebody calls me, the odds are they are not going to end up being a customer. Now that doesn't mean that I don't give everybody special attention, you know, or all my attention at the moment. But what it means is that if you call me, I'm going to give you, you know, the quote or my opinion on what you should do or whatever the situation is. We're going to we're going to talk a little bit for maybe a couple minutes. If we're talking for 5 minutes and we're not scheduling something, that's a problem. Okay? And and even though I have just this one business of being a mechanic, I feel like this can transfer to can transfer to a lot of different businesses and even if you don't own a business it could transfer to your life don't let people waste your time okay somebody's talking to me talking to me on the phone for five minutes or sending me tons of text messages and it's not going anywhere i just you know what spam block them spam block them or what about if somebody doesn't agree with the way you do business are they obligated like is everybody that does everybody have to use me as their mechanic no but i don't have to take every job either okay i have terms of service on my website and and i send people a text message with a link to the website and i say hey go read the terms of service go read the terms of service it, there is no small print it's real simple i wrote every single term and it's basically just like you have to pay half up front for big jobs stuff like that it's simple stuff. It's very simple stuff that any reasonable person will agree to. So if somebody, and this is the inspiration for this video, is, you know, I get people wasting my time all, I, I get tons of people that waste my time. But this morning, I got somebody who not only is wasting my time, but they were rude. They were really rude to me. And I just, I, the link to the website wasn't sending for some reason. And I, I wanted them, you know, I send them a link and they go on and they read it. So he's got to agree to the terms of service. Just because the link isn't sending doesn't mean that he, he, like, you still have to agree to the terms of service. So I just call him and it didn't go through. So I'm saying, hey, I will walk you through this. You know, I will tell you how to get on to Google Maps is usually the easiest way. That's how I find everything. Um or Google, or whatever, but he didn't do it. This guy would not take the time to go and read the terms of service that I require everybody to read, or at least to agree to, even if they don't read it. Every single person has to agree to the terms of service before I come out. So yeah, he was very rude and refusing to go and agree to the terms of service. And he was trying to tell me how to operate my business. And now that's the thing about being the boss, about being the owner. You get to make the rules. I make the rules. I decide what the schedule is. I decide what the rates are. To an extent, the market decides what are, what the rates are, but I have the final say. If I want to charge extra, I can. If I want to give a discount, I can. And so whenever people want to tell me how to do my business, especially he's some he's supposed to be some kind of business owner himself, so he should know better. And so I, you know... He should be held to a higher standard because he should know better. And so he got spam blocked. I, you know, I hung up on him and he was ready to book a job. Okay. But guess what? If he's not going to agree to the terms of service, anybody will. Anybody will agree to the terms of service. All reasonable, all reasonable people do. So his little $125 booking, not worth it not worth it by a long shot so i just said hey 
sorry, you know, can't help you, hung up on him, I had to hang up on him because he was getting belligerent, and then uh, you just spam block him and you move on with your life, and not every example is dramatic as that, a lot of times what it is is that somebody's just sending me lots of text messages, like sometimes when people want to buy used cars, they'll, they'll send me all kinds of used cars, and then I'll give them advice on how to pick used cars, like, hey, don't send me something that's already broken down. Don't, I'm not gonna recommend, you should not buy a broken down car. You need to buy a car that's in working order, okay? That's what you're paying me for, to make sure it works, not a car that you know doesn't work. So people don't get that, so they'll send me all these broken cars. People like that, they're never gonna, they're, they don't, they're never gonna get it. So they just get spam blocked. And they can go and find somebody else who will charge them less money anyways and everybody will, you know, eat crayons together or whatever. So spam blocking is is gold. I spam block fools left and right if you can because the more people... do. Look, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. There's like 8 million people in the Phoenix metropolitan area. Does it really matter if I spam block 10,000 people? No. Spam block 20,000 people doesn't matter what matters is that I find the people that are gonna you know give me the most value okay the customer with the most value is somebody who lets me be the mechanic that I am okay and 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 choose how the business is run and how we repair the car and they just let me do that and then they they just make things easy. That's the customer that I want. I want the easy customer. The customer that doesn't waste my time. That's what it's all about. Don't waste my time.